too. We'll be back live underneath the Suburban. So right now I'm looking at the uh, starter. I got the harness going into the starter and then into the uh, oil pan sensor, I guess. I'll have to find out the name for that. But I'm under the car or truck. And then the cable back there, I got to take this pan off. So I'm trying to figure out, I know there's a bolt like right here. So I gotta take this pan off to get to the connector here. I think that's an O2 sensor, that might be the front O2. I need to take this thing off here. And of course, it had to be four wheel drive. But yeah, this is a good image below. Yeah, take this off. I believe you just put a screwdriver in this hole and pop it out. And then I already took the uh, bolts from the starter out. That's just two 13 millimeter. So now I need to find a way to maneuver the starter because the uh, manifold is still there. But yeah, let me uh, figure something out and hit you back. I also noticed because of the uh, four wheel drive, I got this in the way. So what I'm trying to do is take the bolt out here. I think there's another bolt over there. I probably need to take this off too. So. this I know you just pinch right here pull it out and then I think it goes out the back but yeah let me figure it out out also all right to get this off I'm gonna take off these two tins right here Uh, to take the plate off. Alright. So that's what we need to take off next. You just uh, pinch it on the side and pull it up. And that's it. Then I'm just pull this one across the other side. So a lot of this was kind of hard to film. Uh. I pretty much end up just breaking this box because I, I took the one bolt out, but it wasn't sliding off. So I just broke it before the connectors. To get this whole thing out and then I had to follow some cables like up in here there's some plastic clips you got to break and then I was able to slide it uh, over so I think we're pretty much free on the transmission now and I just got to get it to the front on transmission but if you can see up in there set of harness is wire right there, the black one, through here somewhere. I need that harness up through the engine. So you got all the wires all the way up in the front. So 
I need to find find a way to get this all the way up. To there. A few moments later. So this was a bitch. It's hot as hell. So to get that uh, transmission harness back up to the top, right there we see I got those cut fuel lines. There's a bracket on the bell housing with a 13 on there. I think there's a 15 in the front, but there's a 15, then a bracket, then a 13. Um, I think this one just had a 13, then the bracket. So I had to take the bracket off because it was in between the uh, harness that goes to the transmission. So I took that out. I'm left with basically this. Um, I got everything from the bottom. Mostly everything from the top. And then there's one more wire. Um, this one here. This goes to the back too, so I missed something. I think it's like an O2 sensor. So I'm gonna follow this and take this off. All right, so way underneath, there's actually two connectors. There's one right there. And then there's that. And it goes into this uh, O2 sensor right there. I'm not gonna take the O2 sensors right now. I'm just worried about the harness. So I'm gonna take that off. And that one off. You know, do you screw to ever get that loose? Then up here, I'm gonna use two hands for this. I don't know if you can see it. I got like about three wires in there. I need to disconnect, and that's it. Last piece of the puzzle. I got the uh, crank position sensor and the starter to take out. And then we pretty much out of here. I have the whole harness. I got it chilling out there. But yep, the last step, I just need to wiggle that thing out, the starter, and then get to that crank position sensor. And it'll be all out. I hit your back. Just finished getting that uh, harness off that starter. That's the. Uh, crank position sensor I believe I got the wires down there hanging so I pulled it out nothing cut 100% full harness but I'm about to probably pull this out all the way and then hit y'all guys back all right guys it's your boy loco so the key with that starter, for me, once you get those bolts out, there's like a plastic uh, trim piece that goes like around it. Take out that 10 millimeter and then slide it out if you can. I ended up cutting mine out because I couldn't even see the bolt um, from where I was at. But you can see where that bolt was right there uh, that bolt I think it's a 10 take that out and then for me I end up cutting the uh, trans lines just because it had more I have more clearance without it being in the way and then that crank position uh, sensor the thing's a bitch to get out. I need like some long reach pliers to really get it. I can grab it, but I can't pull it out. But the whole harness is out. Like I said, nothing cut. Everything intact, all the connectors intact.
Uh, once I get that starter off, the only thing I have left, um, oh, let me see if I can see it. Kind of a glare, but there's a uh, body uh, ground on, on the engine right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but down there, there's a uh, ground wire you gotta take off. I totally forgot about it. And then I just slid it up past the uh, power steering. That's it. I'm not worried about, actually I could take this ground cable. I'm not worried about it. That's easy to get later on. But yeah, if, you, if you're not bleeding, you have like bloody knuckles, you ain't doing it right. Anyway, I hope, I hope this helped you guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share. Peace.